If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. Happy days. My name's Steve. I live on a mountain. Not because it's mine, but because it's my friend's. And uh, I had no needs. I had no life. I had no direction. <clears throat> but these people, six years ago, reached out to me when I was living in that hippie community. They reached out to me and showed me family, showed me love, and showed me friendship. And I, ever since then, I've been a member of their family. And I, more so, they're my family. And I, their home has been made my home for the courses of nature, business, politics, of man. But Mother Nature says to me, Steve, stay at home. This is your home. This is your family. So I say, okay. This is our home. That's my darling Grizzles. That's my darling Captain Jack. This is my beautiful Bumblebee, my boat. And that's uh, my beautiful friend, Francesco's rucksack. He's from Italy. He could have resolved uh, a lot of the um, questions that Arctic Nick um, didn't have the answers to. The lies that he told about me, he could have um, been corrected quite easily by our friend Francesco. So at times where I make Francesco's rucksack at use to carry things that I want and things that the dogs need, on the beach. We're going to the beach today. Look, this is up on my neck, on my shoulders, for why I can't be filming. And now I'm dragging behind me. Another reason why I can't be filming. I've only got two hands. And uh, working with a mobile phone, it don't really uh, allow me to film what needs to be filmed. So, Happy days. People want life on the mountain. I tell you what, yeah, you pick yourself up, you put yourself in an abandoned uh, desert mountain, in a random abandoned desert environment, with nothing, and you show me how you survive after three years. <clears throat> Today when I go fishing, maybe I'll upload it. Today if I go to the Western Union, I'll upload it with a, psh, wow, maybe I'll do lives, who knows, who cares, I'm living my life, and my life only has one truth, and it's the truth that I share, and that's my message to everybody, it always has been, I don't give a shit what shit you want to talk about, until you got it clear who the fuck I am, you got no business talking to me. Or talking about me. If I come to talk to you, I want to educate you who the fuck I am. I kind of uh, gonna learn and guess who you are, and that's okay. That you might think, but I'm more important than you. Well, then come to me. Then come and tell me who you are. You know, take a pinch out of my fucking uh, salt pot. Take a page out of my book. Because uh, we all can learn from each other instead of bullshitting about each other. Hmm? Court case after court case. I tell you about court case. I live in a mountain full of eagles. And those eagles show absolutely no patience to the stupid dumbass pigeons. And yet, the pigeons. Ain't so dumb or stupid flying in their numbers. 30 strong. 35 strong. And then another five. There they are. Whoosh. They're not so dumb. They know the eagle 
hangs around here. They know the eagle picks them off one by one. But that's the fun of being a pigeon. I wonder what that is floating over there. And will I get down to the beach quick enough to find out what it is before? Or will I find out what it is before I get to the beach? Something big floating. It could be a whale, it could be a kayak. It looks too dodgy to be a kayak. I tell you what, if that's a dead whale or a dead shark, I'm going fishing for it later. Ah.